How would you like to spend a ton of money and receive nothing in return? Hello, hang on, not so fast. You didn't hear the second part. You'll have the chance to turn that money into more money. A very, very small chance. And you'll be surrounded by bright lights and fun noises. Now we're talking, it's called gambling. And the greatest place to do it is at the Horton. My 100,000 square foot hotel and money devourer. Here at the Horton, when you gamble, you're guaranteed to lose money. Well, actually, my aunt went gambling last week and she won. Well, she didn't win because she gambled. She won because she stopped. If she stuck around long enough, she'd have lost it all and more. And we make sure people do stick around. That's why we comp winners, food and rooms, of course. And everything else about our design suspends you in a timeless void. Where all that exists is the next hand or the next spin forever. It's why we don't have windows to hide the sun racing across the sky from you. It's why we play looping, nondescript music instead of actual songs that could tip you off to the passage of hours. It's why we have no clocks and banned phones at the table. We don't want you watching the time. Oh yeah? What if I look at my watch? Nobody wears a watch anymore, except for old people, and we don't worry about them. We know they're stuck here. Evelyn here, has been at that machine for 18 hours straight. We shuttled her in right from her retirement home, lured her here with a slightly discounted buffet, and we can count on her dumping 96% of her fixed income on slots. Hey, 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 wake up. Teddy Roosevelt. Dormant players mean lost revenue, so we keep an eye on her. A guard will escort her off that seat, though, when we see her crotch has gone soggy with pee. And you can expect her to shake a turd or two out one pant leg as she crosses the casino floor. Well, I'm no turd zombie, okay? I pick games of skill. <laughs> oh, of course you do. Toss your chips on the table with wild abandon. You'd never wield if you understood there were real money. Believe that you're smarter than any other gambler, smarter than mathematics itself. Actually, I've been reading up all right, on this system. I've got a system. Oh boy, we at casinos love it when somebody has a system. Well, I mean, you know, I, I just know what I'm doing, right? You know, like, uh, I know you always split eights, so you know split twos when you're going against two, and if you have a soft 18, you gotta check if the dealer has a seven, a two, and eight, and then if they do, you gotta make sure they're real sweet, because if they're not sweet to you, then you gotta move on to the next table. So you know the right move for every hand. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, then you aren't really thinking at all, are you? You're just robotically doing the exact thing you're supposed to do. Is that any fun? Is that really any different from just pulling a slot machine arm like Evelyn over there? Uh, well, duh. And tell me, what sort of advantage do you have over the house with this system of yours? Well, if you're asking for the exact odds, I mean, I, I'm not gonna, you know, be the person to... Well, it's none. The house still has the edge. It always does. Oh, and don't think about counting cards. Uh, that's impossible since we installed automatic shufflers. This guy could be sitting at the roulette table and just putting money on black every single time. And he'd probably do just as well as using this complex blackjack strategy. Actually, he'd lose less money that way. Just because roulette's so slow. But smart people move to the games of skill because it gives them the illusion of control. You know what? Screw this. I'm leaving. Why can't I leave? Oh, didn't I tell you? We don't want you to leave. We design the place as a maze with wide angles, confusingly sending you to yet another casino floor, luring you to play just a little more. I was kind of hoping for more of a Tux and Pearls experience, you know, like James Bond or like Ocean's Eleven. Oh yeah, casino patrons look like they do in heist movies. Just like the average McDonald's table is filled with a smiling family of four. The closest you're gonna get to that Monte Carlo high life you're picturing is when one of our more desperate patrons offers to follow you to your car and service you orally for five bucks. <laughs> Uh, I think she's dead. 
Oh yeah, that happens sometimes. Other gamblers usually just go on playing, even as we send in a crew to pick up the body. The death certificate will read heart attack, not death by Kino. So we're not going to feel too guilty about it. It's a whole lot better than the not zero number of customers who jump off the roof of the parking garage when the ATM tells them they just threw away everything they had, hoping the dice came up nine. Uh, I think maybe I don't want to gamble after all. I'm just going to go grab some free food and drinks. That's the way to beat a casino. Oh boy, you got a plate of crab out of us and a whiskey sour that's just lemonade. Boy, you sure screwed us over. We still made a killing tonight. If you want to know who really paid for your meal, stick around the casino till morning and watch people leaving. Look at their bloodshot eyes and wrinkled clothes. Watch them slump, depressed into a bus, their pockets empty. They're weak or maybe their whole life ruined. You want a meal and a drink? Don't ask gambling addicts to subsidize you for it. Get a fucking job and buy what you want like a normal person. Actually, you know what? I'm a couple hundred bucks up. I'm gonna cash out, go home happy. You do that. Some people do go home winners. We depend on it. We need some of you to win to preach the fable that anyone can win. That dream will send a hundred more people here tomorrow to lose and suffer the consequences. Yeah, you keep those. <coughs> Grab these real quick. I'll be back. You hold the table. Oh, there's a dead woman. No one's coming over here. Okay. I've been Roger, by the way. And here's a tip. Play Red 19. You can't lose.